Hello Virgo, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading from the 16th to the 22nd of January 2023. So I hope you're well Virgo. Remember this reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates as always. So let's see what we have for our lovely Virgos. Thank you. Well, that's lovely. <laughs> to start your reading, the most positive influential card of the tarot deck, the sun. Always good news, celebration, joy, happiness, illumination. Always for the better. Crowning that we have the Nine of Wands. Your foundation, we have the Two of Pentacles. Crossing the Sun, we have the Knight of Cups. Immediate past, we have the Lovers. In the immediate future, we have the Seven of Cups. Choices and decisions here. We have the Six of Pentacles. Giving and receiving energy. That's what supports you. Your environment. Five of Wands. Seven of Wands. Hopes and Fears. And we have the Ten of Cups. Let's see what we have, Virgo. Let's see what the Lovers is all about. It can be about relationships or partnerships of any kind. Uh, but there's a choice here of how you move forward. And it can be about the relationship itself or another area of life. Let's see what we have. What do we have for Virgo, please? The lovers. The sun. So a choice and the illumination here. Uh, it feels like good news, celebration, joy, happiness in the immediate past to do with the choice, could be on how you're moving forward. The world card, moving to the next level, taking things to the next level with the Queen of Cups, heart-centered energy, male or female. It looks like there was a choice in the immediate past and knowing that you're at that crossroads and it was all about taking things forward. Next level commitment here in terms of love, romance, relationships. It might well be one person wanted one thing, the other person wanted another thing here, Virgo. Um, you know, one person was defensive. I see that with the Nine of Wands. Nine of Wands, it feels like uh, just reserved, holding back. But understanding deep down in that foundation energy, things are going to have to change. You're going to have to be a little bit more flexible here with and i'm talking about you this could be the other person here uh we have the knight of cups male or female offering love the sun let's go for it let's move forward let's do it yeah i feel that this is the, in the immediate past someone's telling you what they want they want progress in a relationship and they've made it really clear uh they want could be marriage could be commitment could be children um buying a home you know i mean However, that manifests in terms of love, romance, relationship, but this is next level energy. This is taking things and evolving things and graduation and taking things to the next level. It looks like in the in the current situation, it's like this is like that cards on the table scenario. And then this is about really considering that if you want this person in your life, it's about liberating from things that have held you back and offering love, making the offer that they want or giving them what they want. That's what I'm seeing here. And again, that could be them to you as well. Clarify the Seven of Cups choices. 
hopes, dreams, and wishes. We have the Empress. Yeah. This is coming up because... Interesting. When I was grabbing hold of this deck, it was I grabbed hold of it upright for that, but I, I grabbed hold of it reverse for that. So you meant to see the reversal. Someone's feeling lack and they're fully understanding that a choice needs to be made because one person, the Empress is very um, attractive and alluring. Again, it's, it's that feminine qualities, divine feminine energy. It could be a female, but not limited to that. This could be you feeling lack in a situation or the other person. And it's all about nurturing something that doesn't make you feel uh, lack, you know. There's choices to not make this person feel lack. This is somebody's realizing that they're going to have to take action because a person is feeling lack, whether that's you or the other person, and a choice needs to be made. It just feels like there's fear associated with this confusion. Uh, I know I need to make a choice, but I'm, you know, even looking at your options, you know, this is the energy here. King of Pentacles. This is a very kind of strong energy of long-term committed relationships, marriage. Somebody who will be in it for the long term. King of Pentacles commits for the long term. I feel this is your energy, you might have wanted greater stability and security in your relationship here, Virgo, and you weren't getting that. And it came to a crossroads here where you're saying, well, what do I, what, how do we move forward? Are we going to move forward? I want to move forward. I'm making things really clear. And this person is realizing that they're going to have to be more flexible than they have been in the past to keep you. They understand a decision needs to be made. Because it's almost like if nothing changes, you could be questioning whether you stay with them or not, you know? And they're fully aware of that. What supports you? Six of Pentacles. Giving and receiving. Fairness. Balance. The King of Wands. The Wheel of Fortune, yeah, divine timing and orchestration, a sense of there is a window of opportunity to turn this around or to embrace change in some way by taking action, by offering more um, than they have done before. The Six of Pentacles is all about one person doesn't take more than they give, the other person doesn't give more than they take, you know. It's like, yeah... I feel that there's a feeling here if someone's waited long enough and it's about doing the right thing here with the justice card because there's an issue that needs resolving five of ones and that's in the environment here conflict not being on the same page yeah the nine of swords is you're beginning to question whether this even the relationship itself is for you because there's a feeling here of not being sure whether you're getting what you want out of this Let's clarify that five of wands. A feeling if you've been waiting long enough, you might even be saying, I'm not going to wait any longer, so what are we doing? Clarify the five of wands, please. The ace of cups. Yeah, I feel they're going to offer you love. They're going to offer you... This is... Um, in order to resolve, fully being aware that they need to resolve this issue, you're being offered love, emotional rebirth. It feels like the next level of progress in terms of a relationship here. Because it's about defending and protecting. They need to defend and protect the relationship here so they take action. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. Giving and receiving, knowing that it's fair. This is the feeling here... Um, Virgo of of they might have enjoyed the relationship as it was but you didn't and again this can be vice versa and you felt that 
things had to be rebalanced, you know, by making a choice in terms of how you move forward because you were feeling lack. Um, you weren't getting what you wanted, you know, you weren't that bountiful energy of the Empress, quite the opposite. So this is the energy here, Virgo, of somebody's realizing that they're going to have to give more, that, that this relationship is about give and take in terms of listening, in terms of communication, in terms of respecting both sides of what both sides need out of the relationship. It looks like it leads to happiness, the Ten of Cups. Uh, Ten of Cups is really the ultimate happiness in a relationship. Ten of Cups is marriage, long-term committed relationships, buying a home together, having children, family, uh, even adopting. I mean, this could well be about, it feels like about the relationship itself in terms of how you're moving forward and progressing it because there's been a fundamental issue because the this person has been reluctant or holding back in moving forward and a feeling here of giving more as a result clarify the ten of cups for virgo to finish off the reading the emperor doing the right thing taking control doing the right thing the three of cups coming together in celebration joy happiness the four of wands, happy home, happy family, and also celebrations can be very good in terms of announcements, engagements. Six of cups, long term. This is somebody who you've got history with, nostalgia with, memories with. It's just time. There's a feeling of it's just time. It's in order to, to keep you, they're moving forward. They're offering you more because they know they need to. And it feels like more in terms of a commitment. It's a really lovely reading. I sense the frustration with this though. And the waiting. You know, somebody's not wanting to have, you know, dodge speaking about this and facing it and, you know, finding ways around it before. But it does look like it's being dealt with. Yeah, we have lost and found. What was lo once lost is about to be found thanks to the lost and found fairy. Sometimes she can help us find things we never even realize were lost. There's, I feel it's like a fear of loss is making this person move forward here. We have wait for winter. During the colder months, the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes as long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. A feeling that you've been waiting long enough, you know. I'm definitely getting that kind of energy here. And a feeling of something was out of balance for that reason. And you wanted to bring that in balance because there are two sides in a relationship. And you wanted to have it balanced out in some way by them giving you more. Offering more, doing more, committing more. That's what I have, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.